Hello and welcome to this quick video all about some of the ways that you can add LEDs onto your planes. Now I've done lots of other videos about this in various different places. I'll put links to all that stuff down below. But this is for a Patreon of mine. A Patreon who um, I'll just refer to as BB for now. Uh, I'm never sure whether or not they want their names released and when I've done it in the past sometimes I get the Patreon going, oh, please don't mention my name. So uh, let's just call him BB. Anyway, BB has got one of these things. Uh, probably recognize this has been in loads of my videos recently this is the latest wing from tbs black sheep this is the tbs chapito the smaller brother of the mojito uh, you can see here that i have added some nice stripes for orientation um, i did think about adding leds to this actually but i haven't gone that far i'm not expecting uh, to fly it in those kind of low light conditions with particularly with it being black However, I know that lots and lots of pilots actually want to do it. So let's pull all the different ways that you can do it. Uh, the two or three products that I would use to add cob LEDs onto something like this, and also some tips and tricks if you have some uh, other cob stuff that you want to put on here, and also if you want to be able to control it from a switch on the radio too. The first way that I would look at doing this is Menace RC do a fantastic cob kit. These run on 2 to 6S directly, so there's no need to mess around with voltages. They can must just run directly off the voltage from the flight battery. They're controllable by a beta flight via a little cable, sadly not by an iNav. And there are lots of different colors, and you can add up to eight cob strips on one driver. So that is an option. The other way, and one of the ways that I really love to do this, is Beta FPV brought out these cob strips. They run from 5 volts, so that makes it easier. There's lots of 5 volts around. Um, watch for the current draw, though. A, a length of about 560 millimeters is going to pull about 600 milliamps. So, you know, don't put too much on this without adding a separate 5 volt back to run them. But they can be controlled by the 5 volt signal wire. If you put 5 volts on the third pin, it turns them on and off. Now, they come in lots of different lengths, uh, available in blue, green, red, and white. They're actually designed initially to go on their Parvo series, I think was the name of the quads. However, I've added them to a number of planes. And the cool thing is, is if you connect them into a PWM output and you slave that to the throttle, you can have them changing intensity too, like here on the back of my Dolphin. Finally, the last way, if you are using some other cob LED strips, well, the first thing to do is make sure that they are going to be happy with the voltage that the battery is in the model. Typically, it's going to be 4 or 6S for something like a little Chipito. So, you know, 16 or 22 volts, if they can handle that, then you can plug them in directly. More likely, what you're going to need to do is to find yourself some kind of battery eliminator circuit that's going to drop the battery voltage down to a level that the cob strips are going to be happy with. I'd recommend recommend a BEC with a couple of amp rating because these LEDs can draw quite a bit of power when they're all on. So if these cob strips are running on 12 volts, then I would get a BEC that output 12, 12 volts and connect them up to the 4 or 6S pack in the wing. What about if you want to be able to control them and turn them on and off? Well, I would use the good old Menace RC switch. I've done videos on this as well. I'd route the negative wire back from the cob strips via a Menace RC switch and plug that into a spare PWM output on the flight controller and then just connect that flight controller output to a switch on the radio and that would allow me to turn those cob LEDs on and off at the flick of a switch. So those are the three main ways to do it. It isn't particularly tricky. My personal favorite for wings like this, particularly if you want like runs of lights, big lines of lights, almost Tron-esque, um, then I would go for things like the Beta FPV cob strips. Uh, if you want smaller, different colored little bits of light that you can kind of sink into the wings, then things like the Menace RC Cobb stuff is really nice too. But don't forget, you can absolutely use just Cobb LEDs that you get from anywhere, so long as you kind of follow the wiring diagram.
Last little bit of advice, do be aware that sometimes cob LEDs can get a little bit warm. Be careful when you're sinking them into things like foam. I tend to cut the recess a little bit deeper and like back them with something like a little bit of wood, a little thin strip of bolster or something else, just to protect the foam from getting damaged. If it does get warm, it isn't going to start melting it and deforming it. But BB, hopefully that helps and that covers the way that I would do it if I was going to add LEDs on this or any other way. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.